Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about volumes uh, with known cross sections perpendicular to the y axis. So these take a little bit longer usually because of the way the problem is given to you. Um, so I'm going to do one example and kind of work through it the whole way. So here's the problem we have a region uh, bounded by y equals x plus 1 and y equals the natural log of x plus 3. And our cross sections are going to be perpendicular to the y axis. And those are going to be um, isosceles, right triangles, with a leg in the xy plane. So um, kind of a lot going on. So we have a figure. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find the intersection points. So I'm using a calculator, pretty obviously. Uh, I'm writing them to three decimal places, but I'm actually storing them on my calculator. Uh, I'm actually storing the y values in this case because we're going to be perpendicular to the y-axis. So what we need is to figure out what's going on with this, right? So um, perpendicular to the y-axis, so we're going to end up doing like a right takeaway left thing. Um, so if we're going to use dy, which we're going to because of the y-axis being involved, um, then we need to actually have functions of y, and the given functions are functions of x. So we're just going to solve for x for each of them. So the first one, y equals x plus 1, uh, definitely the easiest one. That's x equals y minus 1. Um, the second one's a little more complicated. So we have y equals natural log of x plus 3. So first, I'm just going to move the 3 over and have y minus 3 is the natural log of x. And then uh, I got to get that x out of there. So I'm going to exponentiate both sides and end up with x is equal to e to the y minus 3. All right. So uh, now what we want to do is kind of just think about what's happening here. So this part right here is right take away left. So it's the line minus uh, the natural log type thing. But I need it in terms of y. So it's the quantity y minus 1 minus the quantity e to the y minus 3. I don't really need that quantity there, the second one. Um, now what I need to do is work out the geometry of what I'm told these things are. So I'm told they're isosceles right triangles with their leg in the xy plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just draw one and see if I can work it out. So that little segment that I drew before um, that's perpendicular to the y-axis uh, is going to be the leg of the triangle. So the base is that thing we worked out. It's y minus 1 minus e to the y minus 3. The height, since this is isosceles, is exactly the same. So it's also that. And then I know the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So I know the area of a cross section that I'm dealing with is 1 half and then uh, the quantity y minus 1 minus e to the y minus 3 um, squared. So it's that whole quantity squared, 1 half base times height. So that's the area of a cross section. And then in general, when I do these types of problems, I have to integrate the area of a cross section. So uh, the volume that I'm looking for is going to be the integral. Now I'm, I'm working with uh, everything as a y value. So the bounds are going to be the lower y value which is 1.159 to the upper y value, which is 4.146. So let's write those in. And then I need to integrate the area of a cross section. I worked that out. Um, drawing a little picture like that can be really helpful when you do these problems. So there's our area of a cross section. It's with respect to y. And then uh, you just, on your calculator, are going to evaluate this. So. Uh, I got that the volume is approximately 0.772, I guess cubed units, whatever they are. Um, all right, so that's one example of uh, cross sections that are perpendicular to the y-axis. It uh, shows up fairly frequently. You really want to read the question carefully and make sure uh, that you know what axis your cross sections are perpendicular to. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.